Hi, my name is Anthony Rhodes, and this is Complexity Explorer's tutorial on vector and matrix algebra. So this unit is broken up into three subsections total. In the first subsection, we'll be looking at domains of numbers, set theory, and vectors. In the second section, we'll be exploring the notion of a matrix, which is really the heart of this unit, and some of the predominant algebraic and arithmetic properties of matrices. And lastly, in the third section, we will be looking at some applications of matrices with an eye towards their applications in complex networks and complexity writ large. In particular, one of the applications we'll look at, for instance, is a way to efficiently compute the power of a matrix. That's a technique known as diagonalization. We'll also, in addition to that, look at some geometric properties and applications of matrices known as linear transformations and rotations. And lastly, we'll be looking at applications that relate matrices and matrix computations to probabilistic models. And that's a technique or a topic known as Markov chains. So before we begin, I'd like to first help motivate the study of matrices by just mentioning briefly a few examples of places where we can use matrices to study interesting phenomena in applied math and science. So for instance, one of the all-time classic applied problems really in the history of, of math and science has to do with curve fitting. What I mean by that is if I perform an experiment and collect data, I would like to, for the purposes of prediction and inference, build a model that best fits that data. In a general setting, this is known as the problem of regression. So as it turns out, in learning this best fit curve, I can encode the relationship between the data and the curve I'd like to build, or the model I'd like to build, using matrices. And those equations are very well known and well studied, and they're known as the normal equation. In quantum mechanics, for instance, we see oftentimes matrices as rep representing operations or quantum computations in uh, statistical physics, for instance, a matrix can encode relationships in a vector field. So if I want to know how particles in a room interact, I can do that actually, as it turns out, via matrix multiplications. And of course, network theory and graph theory is replete with examples that ab apply uh, ideas related to matrices. And let's cite just a few of those. So for instance, if I'm in city A and I'd like to find the most efficient route to city B, we can think of this as maybe the quote Google Map problem, which we'll explore later. I can query Google Map or some uh, similar algorithm and get a pretty decent result as to the most efficient way or efficient route from uh, city A to city B. In general, that algorithm or variant of it is known as Dijkstra's algorithm. As another example, we can think of, in fact, the internet itself as representing a complex network or a graph where the nodes or vertices in the graph are computers or servers that are connected via some, some link. So we might wonder when studying a complex network like the internet, are some of the nodes more important or some of the servers more important than others? Right? And we might wonder such a thing because, well, if we lost some of those servers, is it possible we would have catastrophic failure of the internet or some such network? Obviously, we don't want that, so we'd like to take the necessary precautions. So one way of formalizing this in, in network theory is to define something known as the connectivity or even the centrality. You can think of that as the importance in some sense, a measure of it for a given server in this case. And one way can do, we can do that quite simply is just by looking at eigenvalues and eigenvectors and assessing how important um, a given vertex or, or node is in a graph. That's but a small sampling of examples in which matrices connect or allow us to represent a wide array of phenomena that we can study in through mathematics and applied science as diverse as network theory, quantum mechanics, statistics, and so forth. 